Hey everybody. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to do the actual cutover. So we've been setting up all of these policies in our, in our Palo Altos. We've, uh, configured all, all the different things, the HA, the interfaces, the routing, security policies, NAT policies in previous videos. So now if we look at this, we're going to take these ASAs and we're going to get rid of them. We're going to turn them off and we're going to make sure that we can still route all the way out to the internet, to this other Docker that's at 25, 10, 10, 49. So really the only thing we're going to have to do and the only place that this is going to come into the routing is going to be at the core. The core switch is currently, let's open this up. Um, so right here, here's the core switch, and this is what we want to look at, actually, the IP route. So there's an IP route on the core switch that says go to 10.150.254.2. And so that IP address is the Internet ASA. It's the, let's get in here, show run. So it's the interface right here, gig zero one. The IP address is 10.150.254.2. So this is where everything is being routed. So everything on the inside from the core is going to go to 10.150.254.2. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that on there to send it to 10.150.254.6. Now, there may be some reasons why you wouldn't want to do this. Because right now, the thing is, this will be going out 6510.10.15. Right now, it goes out on the internet as 6510.10.10. So if there were any connections you were making that, say, someone else in their firewall put in your PAT address to allow you access to, you might not want to change that PAT address if you have a lot of these services out there that are relying on that or um, anything like something like that. There, there's, there may be business cases where you wouldn't want to just do this and have a new PAT address and a, and a new route. You could actually just change. You could keep these the same, bring these palos up, not connect them or keep these connections down in the switches and give it the same IP addresses, like have the inside of this be 10.150.254.2, and then just bring it up and have a hard cut. So that, that might be the way to go to ba based on the business needs. Now for here, all we're going to do is we're going to leave this as the outside Let's take a look at the interfaces. So we've got 6510.10.6 and 10.150.254.6. Remember our NAT defined in the policy is object 6510.10.15. So that's something that changes, right? 6510.10.15 instead of 6510.10.10. But there's really not going to be any inbound changes necessary because these routers, let's take a look at one of them. So this router is just getting us back onto the 6510.10.1, 6510.10.2, there, the, there's that address, 6510.10.1. So as soon as it gets back, to 65, 10, 10, if it's coming from 15 or 10, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be able to get back in and routing should be fine. No problems there. The BGP should be good. Yeah, there's no problem here with BGP. Everything looks good. So I think the routing will be fine. The only route we're going to change, and that's because we're not getting incoming traffic, to a certain IP, and we're not going to change anything here. If we had some static NATs for, say, a server on a DMZ, we would want to hard cut that over as the same IP. 
and not change it because that would be just like just a a bad thing and would cause problems for people trying to connect in. But in this case, let's just go into our core switch. We're going to open up both core switches because the route is on both. So core switch one, core switch two, let's log in. Okay. Show run include route. So that's what we have to change. We just have to remove this and add a default route out. So let's let's do that. So conf t. So I think what we want to do ip route zero dot zero dot zero. And I, I'm not sure of the order of operations here, but let's let's figure it out on the fly. Two fifty four dot six. If we do that. Let's see what happens. Show run include route. So now it has two. So we do want to get rid of that. So that's probably the best bet. Get rid of the first one. Okay. So now we should just have one. And we do. So right now, let's just make sure, let's do a start a ping here. So there, we have not lost any pings, right? So we're still able to ping. Let's do a trace route there. Okay, there's our trace route. Let's ping it. Let's keep pinging that. And let's change this other one. So show or no conf t, and we're going to do no and we still we're still up, no problems. Let's IP route. Show run, include route. Okay, so now we are routing out 10.150.254.6. So we should be going through the Palo right now. Let's see if, if we can see any traffic. So let's actually go to policies and security policy. Let's re reset the rule counter. All rules. Yes. So now we're at zero. Let's refresh, see what we're seeing. And there we do see traffic right there. You see 10. So this is coming from, let's see where this is coming from. Should be coming from that inside 15.10. That's our, that's uh, this guy right here, this Docker. And it is going out to the internet and it's allowed out. So now the next step here is let's turn off. We're going to stop these. We're going to turn off the ASAs. Shut down the ASAs. And that ASA, let's see what it's doing. It's taking a little while to show up here in the, in the GUI. Right clicking it. So it looks like it's still up. Let's see why. Let's close this. Stop. Let's 
is that stopped? No, it's still not stopped. Um, okay. There we go, <laughs> finally. Finally it stopped. All right. So now both these ASAs are shut down and we have the Palo Altos in place. And there you can see the traffic's traveling from this docker. It's 10, 150, 15.10 up to this docker, 25, 10, 10, 49. And there you go. So that is the cutover. So now we've replaced, let's do a trace route. And there you go. Ten, and now you can see right here, 10, 150, 15.2. And then it's going to 254.6. And you can see we didn't lose a ping during that switchover. And you could see before, well, I guess we'd already switched it over. So, but you could see right, right there, not, we didn't drop a ping. And originally we were going through the ASAs. So that is how we switch over to a Palo Alto. And I thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.